fuck with the wrong guys, assholes. Uh, get me down, will ya? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Did he send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? Sucker's gonna piss his pants. Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? A lot of guys, but a lot of guns are already on their way over. Shit, too late. Here they come. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, yeah, knock. before he makes any more fucking Come phone on. calls. Let me in. Could it be able to open it like this? Yeah, we need something heavy, like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Them up. Want to join me? Uh, <laughs> thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. Uh, uh, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Eddie he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You... You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? 
Look, before we go home, you want to give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. I'd take that gun outside if I were you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ! Was that you? Vito? Oh, Jesus! Why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh... Interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Lucas' whoa. bodyguards who ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. Mr. Scaletta, sir, please, go home and clean yourself. You smell horrible, huh? Come again, sir. You're always welcome here. Let's 
Echo. Copy that. If I sell you something, will you leave? Voila! It suits you well. The finest clothing available. If you can afford it. You should know this is stitched by the hands of tiny, upset children. Put that. Oh. Take your gun and leave, please. Oh Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this? But you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. You're like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito. Know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. 
A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul you might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending you almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Hey, hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You only live but once, but when you did, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll Don't care whether you're young or old I'll let the good times roll Don't sit there mumbling and talking trash If you want to have a ball, you gotta spend some cash So let the good times roll Let the good times roll Don't care whether you're young or old I'll let the good times roll